everyone, um, this is going to be another empties video and it's going to be the um, products that I've used throughout May and June. The first thing I'm going to show you is um, this product and it's Sweet Vanilla and Honey Shower Smoothie. Mine actually looks a bit green where it's been by the window but I assure you it's not this colour when you buy it. Um, basically, it's like a bit of a scrub. It's got some exfoliant beads in it, but at the same time, it's got like um, it's like a shower gel, obviously. And um, it smells really nice. It's a really sweet smell. And um, I think these are really cheap. I actually got bought this one for I think it was around like Christmas time, and I just got round to using it now. And it was only like a pound or so. It might have been. One pound something, but I'm definitely sure it's not um, over two pounds at all. But my sister told me about these, and they've got more like more scents. This one smells really sweet, and if you like anything like vanillary or um, floral, you or you like like girly smells, I reckon you really. I like wouldn't them. say the um, beads are too like harsh on the skin. Like I only felt them a little bit when I was washing myself, but I tend to put my shower like gels in a loofah. But this wasn't really harsh, so um, I think it's all right for like irritable skin because I've got quite sensitive like legs especially. But this didn't seem to irritate them, so this is like a really good buy. I reckon for someone on a budget. And that is from Wilkinson's. <laughs> now I told you. Next product um, I showed in one of my recent videos. This is the Bill Smith Extreme Style Extravagant Hairspray. I'm not actually sure if this is in the shops anymore, but um, it's like in a pink, bright pink bottle. This is 250 millilitres. And I really like this hairspray. It's really precise when you like spray it in the area you want. It won't like fizzle out, which I've experienced from some other hairsprays, so. I really like this and you can like build up how strong you want hairspray to be but I'd say um, it's pretty like strong like holding, it holds my hair in place for um, quite a while so it's a strong hairspray if you're going to do like updos and you want it to stay in place I'd say this is a really good one and I'll go and try this out. My next product is the um, purifying rice toner Hmm, and it's by um, L'Occitane and it just looks like this. I might bring that a bit closer. It's basically a toner that you use on your skin. I used it on mine after I cleansed it. It's to like use after you've washed your face and like take off any remaining kind of um, oils or dirt which may be left on your face after washing it. It's got like this little um, ball at the bottom and when you get the formula, you have to shake it up to kind of make the like products like mix together. And then I just get a cotton pad and I literally just rub it around my face. Um, and then obviously that's it. This smells kind of like vanillary, even though it's supposed to be rice. It smells quite vanillary. So I think the smell's quite nice. And I know this um, range was kind of aimed at people with, um, I'd say, oily skin. Although it left my skin a little bit too dry, the toner did do the job. And um, I probably would go and recommend it to someone who has oily skin, but it just didn't really work for me. So, personally, I wouldn't buy this, but, um, yeah, someone gave this to me. But I wouldn't go and repurchase this because it just didn't work with my skin that type. leaves me to move on to the next product. This, again, is a really small size. This might actually be a sample size. But it's the Rice Ultra Matte Face Fluid. And it's to moisturise and rebalance. And again, it's by L'Occitane. It just came in a really small tube. Now, when I um, put this on, I put it on after my toner, of course. And it did moisturise my skin, but... As you would expect from a moisturiser that's aimed at oily skin, it do absorb really quickly. So to me, again, I like something, a moisturiser that sits on the face and feels like it really is moisturising and just like leaves, leaves like a little bit of kind of moisture that I can feel for a while before it properly sinks in. I hope that made sense to everyone. But um, it smells a little bit similar to the um, scent of the toner that I just showed, 
but it's not like overly powering and it didn't it's not overly powering and it didn't like it didn't upset me or upset my senses so um yeah I won't repurchase this but um it could be good for someone with oily skin. My next products are actually perfumes and it's really weird because I have just magically seem to finish my perfumes all at the same time even though I have quite a lot they've just all managed to finish at the same time this is um, the Believe perfume by Britney Spears this was a 100ml bottle I really like the bottle sometimes it was a bit too a bit hard to um, like stand up where it's like a kind of this awkwardy shape and it's only got like an actual triangle shape to balance on but um it's lovely for summer and something i definitely wear on holiday i wore it all on holiday last year and i just couldn't get enough of it because i got it in juicy fruit if you're into really fruity smells that remind you of summer i go and check this out because it's really nice and every time i wore it out people was asking me what perfume i was wearing my next perfume again is another britney spears perfume um, I got this at Christmas time, so it's lasted me about six months. This is the Midnight Fantasy one, and it comes in like, um, is that purple or blue? I'd say it's a dark blue bottle in this light, but I thought it was purple when I bought it. Um, it just comes in this really kind of nice packaging, it's got like jewels in it, and then you can see the detail there. It's got more of a sweeter scent, almost like a bit more candy like I'd say candy like it smells a bit more like sweets and it was something it was a perfume that I tended to wear more at night time than in the daytime this is a nice nice perfume I'd say it's aimed more towards um, a younger kind of market so probably like teenage girls and um, like early 20s I'd say that's who, who this kind of perfume is aimed towards for summer between these two, I'd actually choose the Believe perfume, but this is really nice as well, so I don't want to put this one down, I'm just saying, if I had to compare the two. My next product, again, is another perfume. I've had this perfume for absolutely ages, like years in fact, that I probably should have thrown it out. But um, it's the Dolce Vita Christian Dior Paris perfume. And um, this is more of my kind of like older, sophisticated lady perfume. It comes in this kind of clear bottle, but when you buy it, it's like yellow, the liquid. Or that might be just where it's reflecting off the lid a bit. I don't know. You just take off the lid like this, and then obviously like the nozzle bits there to spray. Um, I'd say this has got more of like a woody scent to it. A bit more like woody and musky. Um, I, it's probably aimed towards more like older ladies, but I really love the smell and um, I probably will get this in the future, but I want to try out other perfumes. And my last product, everyone has seen this product before and it's really cheap. It's um, dry shampoo, heart on your sleeve and this is just the Super Jug own brand. I just literally spray this in my roots um, when I don't have time to wash my hair or sometimes I just use it on my hair when um, on days that I've washed it just for a bit more like volume because where my hair's long it can kind of drag down and then I just look like I've got these like bushy weird crazy ends on the day that I'm wearing my hair wavy which is today and of the actual dry shampoo was not overpowering and um, when I went in super drug I think these were like I'm pretty sure it's buy one get two free. It was a really good deal either either way, and I actually gave one of these um, to my. I hope you like my video. Tell me if you like these empty videos, and um, you can just comment below. And that is my empties for May and June, and um, I'll be having more outfit of the day videos coming up. And I hope you like this. So until next time, see you everyone. Bye.